In this video, I'll show you exactly how to create a custom gem in Google Gemini. Gemini is, of course, Google's AI assistant. The main version of it, which is what I'm looking at right now, functions a lot like ChatGPT or Grok or other popular AI writing assistants. But Gemini is unique in the way that it integrates with the rest of Google Drive and in the way that it integrates with Google Search. And the same way that you can create a custom GPT in ChatGPT, you can also create what's called a custom gem in Google Gemini. And a custom GPT or a custom gem is basically a preset version of the AI assistant, which you can customize to respond or write in certain ways and to use specific databases of information. And the first thing that we'll do in the video is go over the technical process for creating a new gem which is pretty basic, and it's probably pretty similar to creating a custom GPT. And then after we do that, we'll focus a little bit more on how to write really good instructions for your gem or your custom GPT, and we'll test out a few different variations in the gem that I'm going to create. By the way, my name is Alex. I'm a digital marketer and the owner of Lover Fighter Writer. If you find this video helpful and you want to see more, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have a question, and share the video with anyone you know who would also find it helpful. And if you follow the first link in the description, it'll go to a landing page that looks like this. It says chat GBT prompts, but the prompts work for any AI writer like Gemini. I should really change this landing page. But if you go to this landing page and you join my email list, then I'll email you access to my list of AI marketing prompts. It's this great Google spreadsheet. You can copy it to your own drive. You can bookmark it so you can access it and get all the new prompts that I add. And you can see I've got a ton of prompts in here already. And a lot of them are two or three or four step prompts where you actually get a chain of prompts in order to improve the content as much as possible. And if you're looking to start using AI writing in your business, or if you're looking to improve the way that you use AI writing in your business, these prompts are going to be really helpful because it's not just the prompt. Also over here on the left, there are YouTube videos with tutorials linked in a lot of the titles, and I'm continuing to add more of those. And down here at the bottom, there's also a resources tab where you can get a whole bunch of other valuable resources. So use the first link in the description to visit this landing page and sign up for that. And now let's get back to the tutorial. In order to get to the gem manager page, which is where I'm at right now, you just need to open up the left menu. And so if you can't see this, then you can just click on there and it'll collapse or uncollapse and then go to explore gems, which is where I already am. So now I'm in the gem manager. And if you want to get an idea for different types of gems or what they can do. You can check out the pre-made gems. There's a few and then you'll have your gems. So if you haven't created any, then there will be nothing here, but I've already made two. You can see I made one that is an SEO writer and I've made one that is a copywriter. And today I think I will make one that is a content writer for a specific brand. So I've got kind of a side project, which is a content business focused on combat sports and martial arts and things like that. So I'm going to create a custom gem that will be designed to write content for that brand. And it shouldn't take us very long to get through the technical side of how to create a gem. So once we've done that, we will work on exactly how to write a really good custom gem or custom GPT prompt. So I'm going to go to new gem and I need to give it a name. So it'll be my fitness fight content writer. And under the name, you have the instructions, which is how you tell it about the brand or the person that it's writing from the perspective of, as well as details about how you want it to write, like the style and things like that. And down here at the bottom, you can add files to reference. In addition to creating a gem that writes in a specific style, you can also make it respond using a specific knowledge base. And this is where you can add files that make up that knowledge base. So I'm not going to do that for this one, but if I wanted to, I would just click on add files and then I could add them from my Google Drive or upload them from my computer. And I'm going to start with one of my existing AI writing prompts. This is the one that I used to create my copywriting custom gem. So I'm just going to copy this here and come back to Gemini and paste that in here. And now we're basically through the technical side of the tutorial. So if this was what I wanted it to be already and I had uploaded any knowledge base I want, I can test it right here and then I would just click save. And so I'm going to start with right from, from the perspective of my fitness fight and entertainment and education 
brand focused on martial arts, combat sports, and self-defense. And I'm going to try something here because this is something that I noticed my other gems doing. So I'm going to try and fix an issue that I've been noticing. And I'm going to say, when prompted to write, do not reply in first person or output anything other than what was requested by the prompt. Keep all outputs as precise and concise as possible, unless doing so would diminish the brand's voice or leave out important information. So this is just me trying to kind of customize how it's going to reply to my prompts. Because one thing that I've noticed about Google Gemini is that even more so than ChatGPT and some of the other ones that I've worked with, it tends to output a lot more text than it needs to. And a lot of it is just kind of talking to you around the stuff that you want it to output. So I'm seeing if I can make it do less of that here. And for the last part, I'll say, write all content in a natural, confident tone of voice. Use copywriting best practices, including strong language, active voice, storytelling, and copywriting formulas to craft text that will help young and middle-aged men decide to buy my fitness and weight loss products. And I already have the part about who it's writing as at the top. So we'll get rid of this. And this part at the bottom is for when you're using it at the beginning of a new chat with ChatGBT. So if you're creating a custom gem, you don't need that part. And we'll just say save. And we'll just do a little bit of test content writing here. We'll start with my edutainment prompt, see how this goes. We'll say, write a list of entertaining aspects and a list of educational foundations related to combat sports, fitness, and weight loss. So already I think this custom gem is working pretty well because you can see it didn't output any extra information. It literally just gave me exactly what I asked for. And what I'm gonna do here is combine one of the entertaining aspects with one of the foundations and ask it to generate some content ideas. So let's try saying combine, combine, com combine heroic narratives with exercise science and list 10 topics that have been popular in the news and or social media this year. And most of these are pretty good, but the last three are my favorites. We've got weight loss breakthroughs beyond medication. So the idea would be to focus on methods or real stories of how people have used, for example, biohacking or specific types of programs or improving their mindset and mindfulness in order to lose weight where they've previously failed. So that's a really great angle to take because it's very aspirational. It makes people who are struggling feel like they have a chance. Then we've got the rise of functional strength and movement heroes. I guess I mostly like that one because functional strength and movement is really important to me. I used to do a lot of combat sports and parkour, so that's kind of what I was all about. Maybe that one's just interesting to me personally. And then the last one is post-pandemic health resurgence and resilience. And this one is also personally very relevant to me because I was in great shape basically my entire adult life. And then during the lockdowns, I ended up getting really out of shape and really unhealthy. And I'm still recovering from that. I've lost like 60 pounds in the last two years, but it's taking me a long time to get anywhere close to where I used to be fitness wise. And I know that a lot of people went through that exact same thing because I see people talking about it all the time. I know a few friends that had it happen to them as well. And so this is definitely something that I can and should focus on for my content. And so we'll come back to my prompts list here and I'll go with the hook story offer content prompt. Copy this, come back to Gemini, paste it in here. My fitness community. So now I've customized this prompt a bit and we have write a brief piece of marketing copy using this structure, a short and compelling hook that compels people who gained weight during lockdowns and who are interested in losing weight to keep reading, an anecdotal and evocative story that demonstrates my recent experience losing 60 pounds in two years after gaining 80 pounds during lockdowns, and a convincing offer related to my free fitness community that ideal customers would have trouble saying no to. All right, 
this is okay, but I don't like it very much. So I'm going to say, I don't like this version. Reuse my last prompt, but focus on telling my personal story, not trying to tell others how they feel. And we've got the weight piled on. My clothes felt tighter, my energy drained, and I knew I had to make a change. After gaining 80 pounds during those endless months of lockdowns, I felt stuck. It was a constant reminder of what I'd let myself become, but I refused to let that be my new normal. Over the last two years, I stripped away 60 of those pounds, not with fad diets or magic pills, but with the same grit and strategic discipline we preach every day. It was a grind, a daily battle, but seeing me emerge was a victory I wouldn't trade for anything. So this is a little bit better. I'm still not crazy about it. Let's say, try again. Do not use any generic turns of phrase like fad diets or other generic things related, related to weight loss. Focus on my story, the fact that my methods can work for anyone, and the offer of free community to help others reach their goals. This is actually pretty good now. Uh, there's still a few things that I want to change about it, which I could probably prompt the AI to do it, but they're mostly things that the AI will consistently get wrong, such as I think that saying the weight piled on is a very awkward and imprecise way of saying that I gained weight. And the reason that it's awkward and imprecise is because an AI chatbot doesn't know what it feels like to gain weight. So it probably thinks that that's a, an accurate way of saying it, but it's not. Um, so there's like that and just a few other changes to this that I will make on my own. But I like this so far. And so if I wanted to improve my custom gem, I might be able to use some of these instructions that I gave it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go back to explore gems and I'm going to edit this one and put this in here. Say focus on telling my story honestly when writing. Do not use any generic turns of phrase like fad diets or other things related to weight loss. Focus on my story, the fact that my methods can work for anyone, and the offer of a free community to help others reach their goals. I'm going to get rid of this last bit here because that's a specific offer. Just improve the grammar a little bit. And I'm going to add, do not tell others how they should feel or try to tell them we're the same. Let them. All right. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to update it. I'm going to come back to here. And I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to take my original prompt. So this is the original prompt that I used to ask it to write that piece of copy that I had to get it to improve a couple times. We'll just put that same prompt in again. And it did a better job this time. This is very, very similar to the one above, but that is to be expected. All right, we'll wrap that tutorial up here. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have a question. Also remember to click the link in the description to visit this landing page. Sign up for my email list so you can get my AI marketing prompts. They're gonna be really, really helpful. And once you're on my email list, you can reply to any of my emails if you have questions, if you need help with anything. And for a limited time right now, I am doing some free strategy consultations. So once you're on my email list, if you're interested in that, just let me know and I'll send you a link where you can sign up for a free 30 minute marketing strategy consultation with me. Thanks for watching. I hope that this helps you create awesome custom gems for Google Gemini and I will talk to you in the next video.